<laughs> Bam, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is them. Yes, Anya Vivarelli. How are you doing? It's been a long time. Stan Radio Style, for those that maybe don't know me, that are watching me on your channel. How yes. you been? Good, Dan. Always, always good to see your face. <laughs> Thank you. You as well. Oh. Now, we had some uh, kind of fun stuff that we wanted to talk about. You had a, a, a quote for yeah. one that we're going to get to first. And then the second, we've got a, a very cool discussion to talk about, like mm. when you're close to that manifestation, when, it's, when you're just moments away, yeah. you know, as it would seem, right? Maybe it's been a few months and you're almost there. A great little insight. We're going to talk about that. So that's going to come up second. So stick around for that for sure. But right off the bat, Faith yeah. is Your Fortune, a great book from Neville Goddard if I remember correctly is that true am I just making yeah. stuff up because that's possible I make stuff up all the time. <laughs> yes, all right. so you had a yeah. there it is there it is there's proof again anything that's been written by Goddard it could have been written on a napkin <laughs> toilet paper some spare scrap of paper a receipt Anya's Fivarelli <laughs> probably got it so anyway faith is your fortune she's got a oh bitch in to share with us what's going on what, so, what, what ne Neville for this Neville. today Neville Nugget, Neville Nugget. So he says, as you wear a feeling, it becomes your nature. It might take a moment or a year. It is entirely dependent on the degree of conviction. As doubt vanishes and you can feel I am this, you begin to develop the fruit or the nature of the thing you are feeling yourself to be. So as an example, when a person buys a new hat or a pair of shoes, he thinks anyone knows, everyone knows that they're new. He feels unnatural with his newly acquired apparel until it becomes a part of him. The exact same thing applies to the wearing of the new state of consciousness. When you ask yourself the question, how would I feel if my desire were at this moment realized? The automatic reply until it is properly conditioned by time and use is actually disturbing. The period of adjustment to realize this potential of consciousness is comparable to the newness of wearing the pair of shoes. So love that because a lot of people do say they have trouble imagining that it's not, doesn't feel comfortable or they can't focus or they can't get into the state. So if you know that this is a natural part of the process, you're not going to believe the new state of I am wealthy or I am loved or I am healthy if you're not in those states currently. So you've got to know that this is going to be disturbing in Neville's words. It's disturbing to the self because you're changing the consciousness, how and what you're conscious of. So what do you think of that? <laughs> I absolutely love that. That is, um, it's, I think it also kind of helps understand for a lot of us, right? Like when you're manifesting something new, you don't really know it yet. So frequently a lot of us talk about how it's difficult to feel what you don't already know. So that's one thing, like you don't, you don't really know it, but it's, it's kind of okay. You don't know it like a pair of shoes. When yeah. you first get that new pair of shoes, you don't know they're, they're new. You have them on. You didn't expect this. You didn't expect the rigidity. You didn't expect the stiffness. You didn't expect the fact that you're getting blisters because you got to break them in a little bit, right? Right in the heel maybe or wherever, right? Like <laughs> sometimes there's that little bit of wear put into your manifestation. Yeah. And a lot of us, I think when it first starts to happen, and this actually kind of ties into our, 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 our next part, I think, mm. by the way, but yep. when the manifestation first starts to happen, there's that this is new. I'm not comfortable. What do I do? How do I change? Like, yeah. it is weird. And yeah, it, it is because this yeah. is something new that you're trying to create in your life. So yeah. that's actually a very, very cool uh, quote. I, now, is he saying that you, you need to be able to feel that newness of the shoes first? Like, help me understand, okay. understand that a little bit. Like, he brings yeah. in the new shoe thing. So obviously, it's not a comfort <laughs> feeling right it's not something no. i'm familiar with uh, <laughs> so what's he saying in that regard like to help people kind of wear in their manifestation if you will well you begin to develop the fruit or the nature of the thing the nature of the thing is going from being uncomfortable to feeling a little bit 
like you can wear the shoes for a little bit longer and then eventually they become where well, you don't even notice the shoes and the discomfort at all. And it's the same thing as you go through this process, you go through moments where you feel good and then other moments where you feel disturbed and uncomfortable because you're, you're, you're trying to capture something that you don't know how it feels technically yet. So, and I'm going to give the example yeah. of people that are, they're doing their self-love. They're working on themselves. They understand self-worth is really important. They do the mental diet. They change what they're doing. They create an imaginal scene. They meditate. They do affirmations. So slowly you're moving across the line to it becoming less disturbing and more comfortable. But what happens is as you do that and say your ex comes back or money starts to come in, or your body problem, issue, condition, disease starts to taper off, what I see is people get this, they get excited that it's happening and then their peace and mental state is disturbed again because the excitement flips into anxiety. And I see that and a that's lot. Funny. Yeah. And that's funny you bring that up because that gets us into the next part. And let's, I, I think this is the perfect place. So like when yep. you're... Getting close to your station, a lot of times maybe you're right at the precipice, if you will. Like you're, it's the day of the day that you're finally going to have that date that you've been trying to manifest or the day that you're finally reuniting with your specific person or this person that you're in, yep. you know, in love with or you're finally, they talk to you in the copy room or they're going to, or you're going to be in a, some seminar together or some off-site thing where you have a chance to talk. A lot of us, kind of go, okay, we finally manifested a big, big, big deal in our life and we get anxious, we get nervous, we get excited, we get all this stuff. Yeah. And the question is, it's like, how do you, how do you deal with that? How do you, is there a way to channel that into a positive thing? Is there a way to help? Because again, it's, it's scary. It's a little bit freaky on that it first is. time. So I, I, I kind of feel like this is a similar tie. And so what was the quote? Where, where, where yeah, where'd you, where'd you have us going? Okay. <laughs> it's a side salad no <laughs> it is a side it's, it's a, a <laughs> it's a it's a main course with some chicken it's on it or course. some shrimp no it's good. And it's delicious it's yes, really it's delicious. good because what you got to say to yourself is okay it's like a vinaigrette it's like really yummy <laughs> i like vinaigrette i made some last night it is right so yeah it's, yeah, it's delicious so you got to just say to yourself I am going to go through a disturbed phase. I'm going to go from the old man to the new man, as, as Neville talks about. The old man is the old state oh, of yeah. being stuck in. I'm not wealthy. I'm not loved. I'm not wanted. I'm not good enough. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the old man. And then you're going to transit through by doing all the things that we discussed, self-love, that breaks down into self-love meditations, affirmations. It's also looking after yourself physically. What happens is you start to transit out of the old man when you start to really work on that base foundation. And then you work on your mental state of I am, I am, I am, instead of I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. You're working on the I am. You transit and just say to yourself, going through this period of disturbance is part of the natural progression, just like, and remind yourself, it's like the new pair of shoes. I'm going to wear them in. I'm going to wear in my old, my, my new consciousness is going to wear in. It's going to settle in. It's going to become a part of me through the transition phase of letting go of the old state, moving into the new state, living from it, living from it, living from it. It's going to become comfortable. And it does. It does become comfortable over time. So it's knowing that the, you're on track. The thing that this, right. And the thing that this really, really makes me think of, and I think I've talked about it before, and it's not necessarily what the, the point of this discussion from your angle was, but I think it's worth bringing up. We have these moments where they're, uh, we're trying to manifest maybe a, a, a discussion with someone we don't know very well. Maybe we work with them. Maybe it's someone we know from some place. They show up. Maybe they come customer. I don't, I don't know what the situation is. But a lot of us are maybe a little scared to kind of take that step. Like we keep bringing that aspect of the manifestation together. But we mm. don't know uh, how to close the deal, if you will. And, and I think that 
that you call it disturbed state. That's what kept ringing yeah. out to me is that yeah. that uncomfort that um, I, I need to do that thing I don't want to do. I don't want to talk to them. I don't want to. I, I, I want I want it yeah. to fall on my lap. I don't want to have to. They should just walk up to me and be like, hey, I know you've been thinking about me the last few months. Uh, I thought I would come up and talk to you. It's like, no, like you're going to have to get through that disturbed state. You have to mesh these realities. You have to, you have to intermingle their reality with your reality. And it's like, there's a weird, I, I kind of like, I, I like disturbed state. I don't know. I'm just kind of having fun with it, but yeah. it, it, there's this weird sort of meshing and it is kind of uncomfortable. It is awkward. It is different. Yeah. And, and I think it is like, Trying to understand that in advance, certainly wonderful. But uh, sometimes when you're at the moment, really, when you finally have manifested it, there's some surprises that are right in front of us. And, and I think that's part of the excitement of doing this. Part of the joy of manifesting is, is that, that newness, that new pair of shoes that we get to break in, that new relationships mm. that we're experiencing, that, oh my God, I just had a conversation with him. And you go home with the, the butterflies and you wonder if you get to see him again tomorrow. That yeah. that whole honeymoon process, if yeah. you will, of the manifestation is yes. a fun ass part of it. Like that is like mm -hmm. let's not downplay that. You've finally gotten there. You're finally close. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah. Things are about to get real. And and here you are, yeah, a little disturbed, a little scared, a little oh no. Yeah. And and I love it. I love that. It's nice, isn't it? Because he actually really acknowledges that uncomfortable phase. Because people often think you know, with Neville, and I hear this again and again, oh, but he says imagination creates reality. Um, but this actually shows you that it's not just seamless. It, it does have the little bumps in the road. It is okay. It is about accepting where you're at. It is about I'm getting better at this. It is about, you know, saying even Neville, you know, had disturbances because if he's written about it, he knows it, he understands it. So, but he's just not putting the emphasis on that throughout well, all the books all the time. But this, he's given you a little bit of allow yourself right. to be human. And this is why I picked this out is that it's not about doing it perfectly and, and not having any feelings because we do, we're emotional. We have feelings. We get upset. We get angry. We get hurt. We have anxiety. We have all these feelings because we're not robots. We are human beings who feel, and that's what we have to acknowledge and work with and it's all right it's all right well it, 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 in my mind too it's like that's um that's that's part of this like it's i, I was I, I liken it and it's not it is the same but it's i liken it to when you get on stage and a lot of people maybe they've experienced it maybe they have maybe you've been in a, a, a theater play theater you know your community theater but there's that how scary it is to get up in front of people. A lot yeah. of people don't like that. Maybe you've done a speech yeah. school or something, but it's that fear that debilitates. It scares us. But when you finally do yeah. it, when you finally face it, when you're finally performing in front of people and you realize, wow, there's this weird kind of uh, surreal nature that comes about you when you're performing, it becomes very right now. You're very in the moment. You're very, it's, and it's the same when you're interacting with someone that you've been trying to manifest this interaction mm. with. It's scary at the surface and it's scary when you're standing at the precipice. Yeah. But you take that step into it and you start to experience it and it yeah. changes your life and it changes your, it changes your yeah. outlook. It changes your understanding. Like that's, that's that meshing. That's that disturbed. I mean, that's, it's a, a gray fuzzy area in our manifestation where your old reality suddenly meshes with this new reality. And, I, it, crazy stuff happens mm. and, and it, it, for me it's exciting i don't know i like they, at this yeah. point of my manifestation career like i look at it, i'm like oh yeah the crazy's <laughs> happening like this is cool like it's yeah. fun like you never know what the hell right what's yeah. gonna come around the next corner i don't know but yeah i know i'm where i should be right now I, no doubt in my mind tonight's gonna be a fun night like what the, yeah. i don't know we'll see what yeah happens. yeah so, and now that you've brought us to the edge there the manifest edge. experience, and this ties into the second part of what we were going to discuss, um, the whole point of all that work that you did and how hard it was and then it got easier and then you finally let go and didn't care anymore and you allowed and then pop the manifestation happens. Um, 
when I was interviewing Cynthia yesterday about her dream job manifestation, she asked a really great question. And this question was preempted mm -hmm. from her. She said, when I, she said, I'm right in the middle of all this, this great emotion. I've just left my old job yesterday. I feel so happy and so relieved. I start my new job on Monday. Here's my weekend, Saturday, Sunday, this weekend that we're in right now. She said, can I do something with all this really good emotion? You know, like, is there a, a meditation or gratitude or what do I do? And I said, well, I'm so glad you asked that because I've never actually talked about this. But when you've put in all that hard work and you've, you're, you just, you're right in the middle of the manifestation, you don't have to try and be happy. You don't have to try and feel excited. You don't have to try and run around the room jumping yeah. up and down. You're doing that anyway. You so, can't hear already. Yeah, so yeah, if you've, you got got, that you've got it and that takes, that does take time to get there and don't waste it. So she was, we were talking about when you've got another thing, like say you want more money or you want to travel or you want to improve your health condition, that's the time to use this energy over here that you've just got in a little, well, in a bundle that's not holding itself in place because it's wanting to burst out. Use that bursting out to yeah, inject that yeah, into the yeah, next yeah. manifestation and, and, and do a meditation for money. Yeah. Do a meditation for health. Do a visualization where you see yourself traveling to all these amazing places. Get on Google and look up Paris, New York, you know, Colorado, San Francisco, wherever, California, wherever you want to go and inject that into that because your energy is in the absolute perfect place to hatch the next thing in quick succession. So that was a great yeah. question from yeah. her. Yeah, because you're, yeah, yeah. you're already in that, that yeah. accelerated state, if you will. You're already yeah. in the vortex, uh, Esther Hicks, I think, calls it. Yeah. Right? But yeah, you're right. The, the yeah. whole, I've got this already. Like, what's the next step? Are, are you manifesting a relationship and, and you've been focused on the first date? Well, now you've got the first date. What's yeah. the second date going to be? Exactly. Where are you guys gonna the second date? Or what's, so it, yeah, it's, it is. It's that enhanced take what you've got and run with it. And that's why I've, I've talked about frequently. I think it's important to have, you know, your six month plan, maybe your 18th month plan, maybe a five year plan, right? But have some plans that extend a hair further out than your, your initial victory, your the closest victory maybe, and have that next step past it because you really don't want to, you want your sight to travel through the next thing that you're manifesting. And so you shouldn't stop there. Don't let that be your end point. That's why a lot of people I think have a hard time with when they finally do manifest is like, well, now what do I do now? Like this is yeah. my conclusion. This is what I've been asking for. And it's like, well, don't you really want a relationship or don't you really want time with each other or better time with each other? Right. Whatever your thing is like, yeah. keep, taking it to that next place keep thinking outward and onward i mean even exactly. from you know you're with your your special person i'm with someone that's significant to me right like we have enjoyment but it's still like well what's our next what's our next yeah. trip together what's our next little special time out or what's our yeah. next thing that that we get to do that really helps us build our exactly. relationship and take our you know on our personal level so yeah it's a lot of fun i love it that it is so i Very love good. that just that whole that whole concept of you've mastered the power because it's power. That's the power that you've got happiness, yeah. appreciation, love, total excitement where you feel like you're going to burst. That's a power that comes up through you. So to, to harness it and focus it into the next thing, you can have manifestations in quite quick succession. And I know in my personal life that did happen in terms of, you know, once I'd left my job and started creating what I wanted to do, um, and then I made the the uh, statement, I now travel four times in January in 2016, and then the first trip happened, I piggybacked on the energy of that first trip to create the energy and the manifestation for the second trip, which happened only three months later. So, and then there was a third trip, the fourth trip, but it was like riding the surfboard of energy of I did the first trip. I created this fully paid just and, and, and being on that plane and imagining and saying, I love flying in planes. I kept doing that. I kept seeing planes and saying, I love flying in planes. I love flying in planes. Milk the energy, milk the energy. And I mean, I've traveled four times every year since January, 2016. It has been a avalanche of travel. 
and fully paid and through, you know, money coming in from things that I create that I have fun with. So use the energy, use the, right, energy, right. Use the energy and it can continue. And I know you've had jumps in your, your work as well, because right. you and I've talked about that. So you've done a similar thing. You've piggybacked off good energy and then it's mushroomed. It has, and that's the thing. Yeah, and I agree. And your your analogy uh, is is a good surfing because it reminds me. There's a very famous uh, beach out here, and it's a campsite too, but it's called San Onofre, and it's a great place where if you're into longboarding, which is like surf about ten long or I don't know, yeah. what's that, a little over three meters long, right? Hmm. So it's a good sized board. It's pretty long, and you have to paddle way out to get to first break. And what's funny about it is you get out there and you get, you finally get up and you get on the board and you're riding it. And as you're coming in, the wave kind of dies, but it keeps going and it reforms. And as it reforms, you may have to pump the board a little, like, you know, push up and down on it, kind of helps get you along. But ultimately that wave kind of reforms and yep. it, you can ride it in the rest of the way. So you ride this wave a long way and you have this little moment in between where you maybe have to help it a little uh, and kind of yeah. guide it a little. But as you do, you're, you know, you're pumping it and you get that extra ride and you get to take it in another extra 100 feet or uh, whatever, 30, 30 odd meters, a long way in, right? So it's pretty impressive. Yeah. I, I try to convert for our, for our, because I'm the weird, we're the weirdos in, in America that have the strange units. I'm just saying. What, it's Miles? Our it's our Miles. fault. Miles. Yeah, miles, meters, or miles yeah. and feet and yeah. inches and all that crazy stuff that we do and yeah. Fahrenheit. What? I know. It's and then the you same. guys say Celsius. It's more like, I don't even know. That sounds oh, freezing. <laughs> like, it sounds exhaustingly freezing. Like, how do you survive? <laughs> like, it was like 40 degrees, mate. We were on fire. And yeah. I'm like, dude, you like water almost freezes there. What are you talking about? <laughs> that's super cold. What are you? That's ridiculous. Don't worry, the, the UK, when I'm in London, it's all feet and miles and everything. I've got to switch my GPS to... Um... Is, it, is it really? <laughs> yeah. Australia, really? Australia's... I thought climate. they were metric in England. No, they're all miles and stuff over there too. <laughs> it's good. Oh oh, that's crazy. Bit of a change. Well, that's why they're so squirrely. And uh, obviously, yeah, they get along too well with our country. That's the yeah. problem. That's, that's what we'll do to you when you're yeah. close to the United States. We'll get y'all... You'd be like, yeah, inches. No, it's like 12 inches a foot, man. And they're like, what is a foot? What the inches? What are you talking about? What is so that and that is, by the way, just to sort of dovetail this back. And that is kind of what it feels like when sometimes when you yes, a foot. When you're a meters kind of person, a foot's like what? And that's what your manifestation can feel like when you're getting there. So it takes you you gotta you gotta kind of ride that wave. And yeah. enjoy it. I tried to dovetail that back, but it you wasn't did. going well. You it wasn't. Did. I was a crazy passion bird. That's all right. I think, you know. So what other fun stuff you got going on? You got any books or anything you're plugging for people? Any classes? Any, uh, what do you, what do you, uh, what's your thing these days? No, you know me. I don't really plug. I just do a video and upload it and then that's it. And then it just happens. That's it. That's what you should. <laughs> no plug holes. No plug hole and no pay hole and no plug hole. No, no plug hole. That's it. I That's how we draw the line I, right there. Yeah. I love my time with you. I, that Thank to you. me and is, that, that is just a vibe lifter for me. I usually end up with blurry eyes cause I can't see cause I've laughed my head off, but you know what? That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> blurry eyes are good though. We like blurry them. We eyes like are them. good. Well, well, good. The audience, thank you so we're much. Not. We're doing, we're doing these every couple of weeks now for our people. So uh, hopefully, hopefully yeah. it's good. Yeah. Lots of different bits and pieces. Excuse me. Bless you. Yes, yes. Little chicken. Bless Thank you. Little chicken. Hey, a little, yeah, a little, little. Little. <laughs> I should probably be drinking water, but you know, when you're when you're recording, it's tough. It's tough. It is. It is. Well, well wonderful. That's it. We'll it's be doing wrap. another one coming up soon. Yeah, it is a wrap. It's a wrap for all our people. Yo, a wrap. Yeah, that was supposed to be funny. I didn't get any reaction out of you, like I was hoping. <laughs> Bad no, there was joke. a little bit of Mental delay. Note taken: Do not, do not do rap jokes with, uh, with <laughs> Anya. So that will be bad. No, not received well. Excellent. Well, well I we'll hope see. you have a wonderful time. We Thank in you. two weeks, people, we will be doing another one. We will be yeah. together again, reunited, yeah, and it feels so good. good. Huh. That's You're on board song. with me, right? We're yeah. doing this. Shoot, yeah. they can't shut us down when we sing it ourselves. They can't. So, 
They can't. That's not right. playing someone else's music. I'm just singing someone else's song. Thanks, everybody. Oh, thank you so much. It's good times. <laughs> we will close out, and of course, you and I will uh, will close out separately after. But thank you, and yeah. Uh, we'll yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back soon. Bye, everybody. Thanks, guys.